Hello, and welcome to the 9-Card Golf Help video, where I'll briefly walk you through a couple rounds of 9-Card Golf. The first thing you'll want to do here is create a player for yourself. If you have Game Center, this will be automatically created with your Game Center name. If you don't, you'll want to go ahead and punch your name in here. My name's Steve. Hi. Once you do that, it'll be automatically selected for you, and it's time to go ahead and hit play and start the game. Uh, you can select any number of hands between 1 and 18. I'm going to select 2 here for the sake of demonstration. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's the game board. This is where most of the action happens. On the bottom left, you have your layout, and on the top right, the AI player layout. And the first thing that happens is he flips over three cards. You just saw that happen. Now it's our turn to flip over three cards. I'm going to pick three randomly. First order of business then is to see if any of those match the discard pile. Uh, none of ours do, so instead I'm going to flip over a card from the stockpile. I'll then flip over a layout card, compare the two, and discard the one with the highest point value. The AI player will take their turn, and then it's our turn again. Same method. We want to see if the discard pile matches any of ours. If it doesn't, flip over a stock card, flip over one of the layout cards, and because the 7 is a lower point value than the queen, we'll discard the queen. You're going to continue playing just like this, trying to make pairs from uh, the cards on your layout. Uh, here we're going to flip over, and it's a queen. We can't really use it, but we can continue turning over cards, uh, and that's a good thing. We'll go ahead and let the AI player play. Um, and here we have an 8, which we can actually use. You see it pairs to the left and to the bottom. Uh, both pairs are canceled out, so that's great for our score. Now here's an interesting situation. Um, we have a jack, but we don't want to discard it, even though we can't really use it and it's a higher point value. I'm going to keep it so that he can't use it. Uh, there he's given me an 8, and I can replace the jack now with an 8, which is a fantastic play for me. Even though he's going to use the jack, uh, what we have there is a fantastic set of 4 8s. Okay, next up we have a joker. That's a great card. It's minus 2 points uh, on your layout. Uh, it's the only negative value card. We're going to go ahead and replace the 9. Up next, we have a 10 that we can pair and go out with negative 2 points. That's awesome. So that's a good score for our first hand. And as you can see, we beat the AI beginner who had 11 points. The only thing left to do here after all the cards have been flipped over is to click hand ended and uh, start the next hand. This will go ahead and reshuffle the cards and redeal all the layout cards. And here we have a new hand. Uh, so let's see how we can do in this hand. Again, things you're paying attention to are you want to be able to pair cards in your layout. You want to be mindful of which cards you discard because the opponent can actually use those. And uh, with those things in mind, let's keep going. Um, here we have a queen. Again, doesn't match anything we have. So we'll take the king, put it in a corner. Um, it's up to you whether you want to drag a stockpile directly to the layout or if you want to flip over the layout card first like I've done here. So let's go ahead and wait for the AI player to play. And then flip over a stock card since we can't use the 9. Uh, here we have a king and we have a couple options of where to put it. Um, there are a lot of pairs we could make on this board as you see. Um, but probably the best place to put the king is directly above it. Uh, so we're just going to drag that directly there. And Oh, um, that was a bad idea. We could and should have flipped over the layout card before dragging the stockpile there just to see what it is, double check. We would have known it was a joker and not given a joker to the AI player. Uh, so that was my bad. Um, but let's keep playing and see if we can recover here. Uh, we're still not doing too bad. We have a better score than him even though both of our scores are pretty terrible. Um, anything over 10 is generally a pretty rough score. Uh, anything under 0 is fantastic. So uh, things to keep in mind as you're going for your final score. Here's a case in which we can really use the jack and go ahead and replace it too. And we have a lot of pairs. The only thing left to pair up is the 6 and 7 at the bottom of our layout. And then of course the card we haven't flipped over yet. Um, once you flip over your last card, by the way, that is ending your hand. That's going out. And the other player gets one chance to make one more play before they go out. Uh, whether that's flipping over their last card or one more card or whether that's just making another pair. Um, see, for example, he's gone out now, and we have this one more chance. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and pair the seven, even though we don't know what our last card is. And then you press this button to flip over that last card. It turns out to be an eight. So we lose eight to five, uh, for this hand at least. For the game, we still won 14 to 21. So uh, I suppose, you know, lost the battle, won the war. Um, but there you have it. One 
full game of nine card golf uh, two hands hope you enjoyed it hope it gave you a little bit better idea of how to play the game while you're here though I'll show you some other cool features here we have the scorecard section which will show you all of your scores there's our latest game highlighted if you scroll back it'll show you all of the players on your device including the uh, computer players there you see AI beginner in his game let's go back to us here's all of our games and then if we scroll even further the game highlighted there will show up on these two cards here's the front nine which is the first nine hands you might play and then if you play more than nine hands you have the back nine as well which is the next page so this is the awesome and in-depth score system that we've plugged into this game we hope you'll like it it gives you a lot of information on the games you've played and you can see how you've improved let's next hit the settings menu uh, we have a pretty cool in-depth settings screen in this game you can set everything from AI player speed to the default number of hands number of decks we also have some variations on the rules that you can enable and disable keep in mind that you can also choose card backs and boards for customizing the look of the game here we have the help system um, cool little slides to show you sort of the layout and elements in the game and how to play them uh, it's a nice visual reference in case you don't want to watch the whole video over again uh, that's our help system. Um, there's also a quick play button. After you've played your first game, that's enabled so long as you have anything other than human player selected and you have an AI player selected. And that'll let you jump right to the game um, with the settings you've chosen and let you play your default number of hands right off the bat, right when you enter the game. So that's handy. Here's our pause bar. You have options like quit, uh, scores, rules. Quit will take you right out of the game. Scores will take you to um, in hand scores so it'll show you hands you've played so far hands you haven't played and it'll show dashes for the number of hands you have selected uh, that you haven't played yet here's in-game rules these are a fantastic reference in case you're wondering what options you have what the rules are they're all right here in game then you can hit the pause bar again to close it and it brings you right back to where you were in your game I can flip over three cards and start playing so that's our pause bar um, back to the main menu um, that's the quick play icon again uh, we've shown you basically everything we can show you, um, all kinds of cool stuff here in the game. I hope it's been helpful and informational. Uh, if you need any more help, refer to the rules and hints section for those gameplay screenshots and the rules uh, written up in full detail. With that, I've covered basically everything I have for you. I hope this has been a tremendous help in helping you understand the gameplay and layout of our app. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it's been a thrill making it. We hope you love it. So from all of us at Iron Sheep Productions, thanks again for watching, and enjoy Nine Card Golf.